Hi everybody, it's Stacy Ciceron here, your favorite textured hair professional. Today I'm gonna to show you how to take highly textured hair from curly to straight using the new Dyson Corral. I'm here with my lovely daughter slash model, Samia, and she has highly textured hair, type 4, 4B to be specific, and that is kind of like a wavy zigzag pattern, okay? Um, it's very important with highly textured hair to protect it before you go in with any kind of heating appliance. So I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner that's also a thermal protectant, and that's gonna help me to detangle the hair. So first I'm gonna start by setting sectioning and then using a wide tooth comb to detangle. So I'm applying the product all throughout the hair, nice and even. And this is gonna help me to protect the hair from heat damage and it's also gonna detangle, moisturize, and make it nice and manageable. So I start detangling the hair from the ends and work my way up to the roots. And once that section is detangled, I go ahead and put it into a two-strand twist. This is gonna to help to keep the hair stretched out, but also it's gonna prevent it from getting tangled again. The sections and the twists, they don't have to be totally perfect because this is just gonna help you to go through the hair with the blow dryer much easier. They're not gonna wear the twist as a style because if they were gonna wear the twist as a style, you'd wanna really take your time to make it look neat. For her hair density, I tend to do six sections, but if the hair is less dense, you might be able to do four. If the hair is more dense, you might have to do eight or more, just depending on the density. One of the challenges with highly textured hair is really being able to take your time and not get overwhelmed. So that's why I like working in sections because it makes it feel way less overwhelming, especially if you have a lot of hair. So now that our hair is sectioned and detangled, I'm ready to go in with my blow dryer. I have the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer with its thin concentrated nozzle. I love using a blow dryer with a concentrated nozzle because it helps me really direct the flow of the hair down the shaft, sealing the cuticle, giving you that excellent shine that you really want to see. And I'm going to go in with my Denman seven row brush. I love using this brush going from curly to straight because it gives me just the right amount of resistance. So I'm gonna start out now uh, blowing out the front section and I used uh, these two strand twists to keep the hair separated and stretched out so that the hair doesn't get tangled again as I'm working through the hair. And I'm just gonna split it in half. So the hair is already detangled. What I like to do is to use a tension method to stretch the hair, and this is how I'm able to take large sections. I stretch the hair, and now I'm starting to work from the root area, using the airflow to go down the hair shaft. This is sealing the cuticle without putting too much tension on the hair. And as you notice, I'm not releasing the brush, and now I'm gonna work my way from the midsection, and then I'm gonna work my way to the end. So once the hair is fully stretched out and smooth, I'm gonna make one sweep motion to go through the whole section, like this. So I'm just scooping it up and running the dryer through. So you really don't wanna over dry the hair, but um, the blow dry is the most important, one of the most important steps in going curly to straight because this is what starts the process. This is what starts the smoothing process. It makes it much easier for you to flat iron the hair when the sections are already smooth from root all the way to the tip, which you'll see when I start the next process.
blow drying Samia's hair, I use a blow dryer with a concentrated nozzle and a large paddle brush to smooth out her hair. I then went in with a thermal protectant spray that gives me added protection against any heating tool. And not just any heating tool, today we're gonna to be using the Dyson Corral. This revolutionary cordless flat iron has patented plates, making sure that the heat distribution is even with every single pass. And I'm starting right here in the back. I'm making a nice thin horizontal section across the back. And based on the hair's density, you can make these sections wider or thinner. So the cool thing about this Dyson Corral is that it is cordless, so it makes it easy for you to move around without that clumsy cord, and it holds, the battery holds its charge for up to 30 minutes. So I'm going in right here at the base and going all the way down the hair shaft. The flat iron has up to three temperatures and I am using it on its highest setting of 410 degrees. So these patented flexi plates help to gather and control the hair so you can get the same style but with less heat. So normally I would have to follow the flat iron with my comb like this but because of these the way these flexi plates gather and control the hair, I don't have to do that because the hair stays in place. So what you may notice is that everyone's hair has different combinations of hair types and textures going on. So you, it's no one size fits all when it comes to choosing the heat on your flat iron, which is what I really like about the Dyson Corral. It has three precise heat settings, 330, 365, and 410 degrees. Me personally, I like to start out with 365 degrees and kind of increase the temperature when the sections get a little bit more dense or a little bit more coarse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move right up the head following the same technique. And if you notice, the hair is being controlled because of those flexi plates. It gathers and controls the hair. So all I have to do is pass it one time. And because I only pass it one time, or fewer times than I normally would, it reduces the chance of me getting heat damage on the hair, and it reduces the chance of breakage by up to 50%. Right, I go all the way to the ends. Very important that you follow the hair all the way to the ends. That's what seals it, that's what makes it look shiny and smooth. Also, the Corral has a dynamic heating technology that heats up the plates 100 times per second. Isn't that crazy? So every single time I pass the flat iron on the hair, I know that it's gonna be the same exact consistent temperature. Almost done. And then I have a really, really neat trick to show you with this flat iron. I'm keeping my sections consistent so that I can also take advantage of this technology. It gives me way more control over the hair, having the same consistent sections. I'm gonna make this two sections. Some people would probably make that one, but I'm a stickler for getting really close to the hairline or to the roots, as close as I can. So I'm following it down, getting right in there. 
really smooth, really even, all the way down. And this is my last section. Nice and smooth. If you notice, I've only been doing one, the most two passes on each section. I am now gonna go in with the corral and create some curves, some bends, some shape to it to kind of change it up a little bit. And that's what I like about the versatility of the flat iron. So technically my daughter's a teenager. She loves to just wear it pin straight, but I really want to show you exactly what this flat iron could do. I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of a bend right here in the front by just giving it a little semi turn. And because of the shape of the flat iron, look at that. It just creates a beautiful little bend to it. And if you want more curl, you just rotate the iron a little bit more. All right? So right here, I'm gonna take a vertical panel and I'm gonna add a little bit more of a curl to it. And like I said, to get that curl, you just rotate the plates a little bit more, right? And drag it down and then twist it. So the more curl that you want to get out of the hair or from the iron, you'll rotate, rotate it more, okay? So just turn it halfway, about 180 degrees, and just slide it down. So notice we have the temperature control, we also have the charging status, and we have the off and on switch and right here is a lock feature. So once you're done using the flat iron, you can close it and lock it. I know I've been talking a lot about this cool cordless feature, but I also wanted to remind you that you can still use the cord. So I'm gonna go ahead in, rotate it at about 180 degrees and just slide it down to create my curl. All right, and just wrap it around my fingers and let it cool off. All right, so now I'm doing the same thing on the other side, and this is so convenient because now I'm over here, the charging station and dock is over there, and I'm able to move freely because it's cord free. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the iron halfway to create my curl, All right? And I'm just taking kind of medium size vertical sections Turn a little bit. Get the iron in here, rotate about 180 degrees, and slide it down. And the reason why I'm not taking really tiny sections is because I don't wanna create that much of a curl, more like a wave, you know, just so that it's not pinned straight. And I don't wanna put unnecessary heat, additional heat on the hair. Okay, this is my last section here. Okay, so this cool little inconspicuous button here is actually for the airplane mode. Once you remove this button, it deactivates the battery so it won't heat up in your travel pouch when you're traveling, okay? and. We can lock it in place, just like that, and open it when you're ready to use it. So I'm just gonna finish it up with a little finishing serum, just to get some of those flyaways. And I know, Samia, you would never wear your hair like this. You just like it straight, but it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. I'm so happy with the results. There you have it, our finished look. Curly to straight, untextured hair using the Dyson Corral.